hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel my name is kobe and this is kitech digital now in this video i'm going to show you how you can be able to protect your files okay so um you have um, an audio file a video file on your wordpress website and the next thing you know um somebody is using it um you know in a different place where you did not give the person permission to use it so i'm going to show you how you can be able to um, protect it for example let me give you an example um let's go to the blog over here and then I'm going to give you one, um, you know, example. Like, let's say um, I have this podcast over here, okay? So I have this, um, you know, audio over here. I can, you know, go ahead and listen to it. And then, um, you know, somebody wants to, what, um, like the audio, wants to, what, uh, you know, download it. So the, tri the person tried to what, find a download button. The person cannot what, see it because of the player that I'm using. So goes to setting no download button nothing everything over here nothing now there is a way that a person can be able to download this um, audio over here without um you know me giving the person permission to be able to download it now when you right click on um when you right click on the page okay and then you go to um you know um, inspect over here you can be able to what you can be able to find the url of the audio okay so now let's um you know go through and then see if we can find what the audio url okay so um if you go over here you see most of the url over here but the one that we are looking for is the audio so now let's um you know just use this one to uh, to search for it okay so now let's click over here and then see let's go up and see you see that this is the url over here okay so everybody who is um you know well versed in or know a little bit about wordpress will know that this is what an, an app uh, you know a file an audio file okay the person will definitely know it because it does not it's have an um dot mp3 over here so the person can just you know double click on it right here copy it and then go to a different tab over here okay and then what paste the link in, inside and then the audio will be what will be shown over here now for the person to download it easily the person can just click on this three dots over here and then there is a download button over here for the person to what, to download it okay now it is an audio this is an audio easily downloaded now let's check another one which is also what a video okay so now um let's go to let's say this video over here okay so um let me let me just close it and then we'll restart from here now this is what this is a video okay so um i can decide to what um you know to play it and then the video what will, will start playing for me okay so as you can see the video have started with playing for me now maybe i like this video i want to download i still cannot see any download button over here okay but there is a way that i can what i can still what download this video okay the same way as we did um with the audio the same way i click on inspect over here um you know go and then find the source of the what of the audio so i'll use this what um you know um select element button over here and then you know just click on the audio okay and then um if i scroll up over here that is the link of the what the audio i will just right click on it copy it go to my new tab enter the link over there and then i can what i can be able to you know um have the audio over here so as you can see I have the audio over here now how do i download it just click on this three dots over here and then the download download um you know um link button is over there for me to watch. just click on it and then it will start downloading what for me now how do you prevent people from doing all these things now remember all what i'm doing is what educational purposes and then this thing that i showed you i'm not saying that you should go around looking for unsecured um, you know videos and audios and then download it like the way i'm doing everything that i'm doing is just to, uh, to educate you guys so that you will be able to uh, understand how wordpress works and then be able to secure your what your website well now how do you um secure this thing now it's also very simple now let's let's look at this video over here let's click on this video over here and then you realize that this video over here um, also have what um, this uh, post over here also have what a video over here now with the same way let's go um right click on it okay let's just um you know right click on it go to inspect over here 
and then try to see if you can find the audio link and then open the audio link and then see so let me um, use this select um, you know tool over here and then i'll click on it and then i'll go and then search the word uh, this is the audio link over here so as you can see i can double click on it copy it and then come to a new tab over here paste it over there and then click on what enter and i still would have this one also okay so this one is also what it's also not protected okay so how do you protect all these what all these files it is very easy for us to do it and that is why i am going to show you in this what video okay so um to be able to protect um you know um your files it is very easy to do it we are going to do it in a very simple what simple steps okay now first of all um you need to have a player that does not have what a download link over there now if you use the wordpress um you know player it's going to um or maybe wordpress uh, player is going to what have a download link over there for people to be able to download it easily so you need to what install a plugin a player plugin that does not have what a download link over there now let's go to the back end and then i'll show you okay guys so we are the dash um, board okay so the back end of uh, wordpress now what we are supposed to do is um just go to um you know plugins over here hover on plugins over here and then click on add new now we're going to install two new plugins okay for our website so to make this thing work and to work well we need these two plugins now the first plugin that we're going to install is the player okay so just um you know search for presto um player okay just search for the presto player now this player um gives you a very nice interface player video player and audio player interface okay whereby you're not going to see any download button over there okay so we're going to install this plugin now, as you can see i've already installed it now if you haven't just click on you know there's going to be a button like this which says install now just click on install now and then um after installing do not activate this uh, do not activate it we're going to install the next um, plugin which is what prevent um direct access okay just you know search for this plugin over here which says prevent direct with access um, plugin now we're going to use that one also so this one over here prevent direct access protect wordpress with files okay it's a very simple way to protect your files um on wordpress now um also click on what install now do not activate it okay now after that just come to what um plugins over here and then um what you're going to do is um you're going to go to inactive plugins okay so the ones that you have now what um activated it this you're going to see these two over here now click click on this one tick this one and then go to ball caching and then click on what activate to it activate um the two what plugins over here okay so um we will have the presto and then um the prevent access what um plugin all what activated now if you want to check the um you know um the prevent access okay now the presto is just what um a player okay so we're not going to doubt we need that the most important thing is what the prevent what access okay so how do we um do that now let's go over here and then check out the settings of it now go to settings over here click on settings okay so when you hover on prevent access you're going to see settings over there just click on it and then you're going to come over here now as you can see over here we have what file protection okay file protection now with the file protection you set as um file access permission so um who do you want to get access permission um with that particular url so it is only the person who owns the what the files so the files what other okay or you can just use what admin users okay so the file author and then customize no access page so you can create um you know a page which will what be customized whenever somebody would try to what um you know download that particular what that particular um you know file okay so now now that we've what we've activated it now what we're going to do is we're not going to do any settings over here okay now let's go straight to something and we're going to go to our media library okay so media over here and then go to library now i have all my files you know in the um library already 
So what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to protect some, okay? So as you can see, if I come over here, okay, I have this, what? I have this, um, you know, video, um, video over here, okay? So let me refresh it so that you see that I still have the video over here. Okay, so I have this video over here, okay? So this video, I don't want anybody to be able to uh, download it, okay? So I want to, what? I want to protect this particular, what? This particular video, okay? So how do I do it? Now I go to my media library, okay, and then I'll look for the video that I want to protect. So this is the video that I want to protect. I'll just click on it. This one pop up will come over me. Now, as you can see, you can see over here, it says what? Prevent direct access, okay? So I'm going to take this place and then it will, it will protect this file for me. So as you can see, the file is protected already, okay? Now I can watch, close it. Now, if you don't know the file is protected, now if I close it, you can see. You can see that there is what this red um you know line all around it okay it means that this particular file is what is protected now if i click on this one okay and then let's say i go to um you know inspect okay let me let me just check on inspect over here now if i want to check on this particular file okay so um let me click on this you know um select and then click on this one so I'm going to look for the file over here. So this is the file that I'm looking for. Okay. So I'm going to right click on it. And then just, you know, select all over here. So let me, let me just ignore it and then right click again and then select all of them. Now, because I created the file, I am logged in already. Okay. So if I come over here and then I um, click over here, I will still be able to see the file because I created the file. Remember, we, we did the settings that the author will be able to see the file, okay? But let's go to an AM. Let's close this one. And then, you know, go to a different uh, browser. Like, let's say, let's go to an incognito window right now. And then, I'll paste this one over here. Type in this one over here. Now, watch what happens. It's going to give me, what, a fall forward page over here, okay? So, as you can see, they tell me that, what? Um, that page can't be what can't be found okay it means that nobody can be able to copy the link and then what and then use it okay and that is what and that is exactly what um we are what we are looking for so um since we have it like this so it means that the page is what or the file is what is protected okay with what we protected the file now we can do so for all the what all the files that we want okay so you can do so for your audios for this one over here you can what just click over here to what to protect it okay so the file is protected you see there is what a red uh, border around it the same thing applies to this what audio even your images and other things you can still what protect it if you don't want anybody to use your images okay you can what still protect it okay so as you can see but i'm doing this with videos and audios okay for images you can take it but sometimes you or your hard end video that you've spent countless of time you know creating a course that you want people to what um, you want people you want to you know sell to people or you want people to buy and then somebody will use a dubious maze to what to get it okay and that is why you have to what, protect it so um all these ones have been protected now let me see um if i go to podcast over here okay let me just click on podcast over here and then see what happens so the podcast is just what um an audio okay so as you can see now if i right click here and then go to inspect okay now i can what i can look for the audio file okay so if i can't find it just click on this one and then just you know um click over here and let's see if you can what find the file now as you can see the audio link is what is right here okay so i just right click on it go over here and then paste it here okay now let me see if i can be able to it um you know see the the file itself okay so let me just click on so i still can see it because um i think it is picking the what the um you know um the the catch the catch has not been purged okay so now let's let's just you know purge the catch over here and see what happened so for those of you who are using the word the caching plugin this is how sometimes it it, it works for you sometimes it gives you what um this kind of what um problem when you make um you know changes in your website it does not what it does not um quickly
take effect unless you purge the what the cash okay so um you can do so by um you know doing exactly what i did okay so um if you copy this link over here so as you can see i can just what um you know let me let me try and see if i can just copy the link okay and then go over here it's supposed to what it's supposed to work if it doesn't work then maybe there might be a little bit of what problem yes so it still did not work uh, maybe it is still picking and um, what we we are let me see if i i really protected what the file yeah it has been protected so why is it not working okay guys so let's copy it again and then go back over here and then paste it over here and then see if it is still what it still works okay so now one thing i you see it works over here okay perfectly works now one thing i realized is that guys if you have already um you know um how do you call it like with the audio for instance if you have already like um done the post or you know if you have already you know inserted the, the audio into your um into your post before um you know protecting the file sometimes it doesn't work okay so what you need to do is um you need to remove the audio okay so delete the audio and then still what insert the audio into your what into your post again with the new what with the new um you know link because when you protect the file it adds extra what extra thing to the link the audio link okay and that thing is what protects the what the the, the audio or your file okay so that is it now what we're going to do is um we're going to go to back again so now that we've seen how to protect it now let's go back again and then go to the settings of the what of the prevent access okay so prevent direct access you hate it when people even copy your what copy your things okay not just even like your files or other things but you don't want people to even right click on your what on your website okay so with other security options over here with other security options over here you can be able to what um go extra further okay by protecting your what your website so um how do you do that so you want, can disable copy and right click from your website so if i click over here i have what disabled you can um, restrict media uh, library access okay so you don't want anybody to, uh, to view your files or anything you can also prevent what hot linking okay prevent other people from stealing and using your images or files without your permission and then you can also uh, disable directory listing disable directory browsing of all folders and subdirectory so you can do all these things okay and then click on what save what changes now when you do that um, make sure if you are using what the uh, um, you know the caching plugin make sure that you purge all the what the cache okay so i'm gonna purge all the cache purge all the cache and then i'll go and then see if what it's gonna work on my website so let me um, let me just go to the what the home page over here okay so i'm gonna go to the home page and then i'll try and see if i can what i can you know try and copy something from these changes that we what that we did so um let me go over here and then uh, you know try and see if i can copy so as you can see i'm trying to copy but it's not what it's not working okay because we have prevented what um you know we have disabled copy and then what i'm trying to even highlight it it's not even trying it's not even doing it for me so if i right click also it says what right click is what disabled okay so as you can see you have what disabled what right click on your what on your website so right click is what disabled so um basically that is how you can be able to you know go ahead and then what protect your what your website your files and all your website with properties okay now it is your property it is your um you know your file is your your property your audio is your property your video is your property your pdfs are all your property make sure that you protect it well so that um, people cannot be using it without um, you know um, you giving them permission to what to use it i hope this video will help you to be able to protect your what your assets um, prevent people from direct um, having direct access to your what to your website thank you for watching and see you in the next video bye bye